Where's Amy? I am not late. All right. All right, here we have Aladdin, and he's pretty simple. He has his hair beads, which is kind of bumpy, and you can feel a little bump for his little hat. But the easier thing is his lamp, which I'll, which Genie has too. But if you feel the lamp, then you can try to find the lights. And the lamp is like a mini mini, is like a smaller mini figurehead with a stick coming out on either side, like a teapot almost. Here we go. Okay, here's the close-up of Aladdin. Okay, and there you can see the lamp, and Genie has the same lamp, but Aladdin has regular legs, and you can see that hat on his hairpiece, and you can definitely feel that. It's kind of a little bump, um, but again, you can definitely feel that. All right. Okay, this pack has Genie, and again, the way we know it's Genie is one, because we can feel the lamp, okay? Once we feel the lamp, we check the legs. Now, Genie, of course, doesn't have legs. Um, he has just the bottom uh, part of his body, which is kind of curved, and it has a little bump on the bottom so it can stand up. Um, and then you can also feel the piece that goes on top of his head, uh, which has his, his pointed ears. a blue head to uh, match his blue body. If I can get that's not the right way. <laughs> okay, and then he's got this little uh, his little hair piece right there. There he is. Okay, here's a close-up of Genie, and I've set him uh, to show you that you can actually stand him on his lamp, um, kind of since he comes out of the lamp. thought that that was somewhat appropriate. Okay, and again, uh, the other clue is the piece, the, the top, his head piece, uh, where you can see the pointed ears, okay, and the round top of the head, and you also may feel the, uh, that little hair piece in the bag, and, and that's very small, but it's pretty distinctive. Okay, here we have Hook, and he's actually pretty easy, because he has a lot of things. He has his little sword, which is the musketeer sword with the little half dome for the with the handle and the little ball for the point. And of course, it, he only has one hand and has a hook, as his name suggests. And his hat is really easy. It's like a hammock with a little bump on it, and then but with the hair coming out of the bottom. And on one side, there's the little poofy thing for his feathers. Because, I mean, feathers are cool. doesn't like feathers. I like feathers. And this is all one piece, and you can definitely feel it. Very distinct. The hook isn't as prominent if, as you would think, especially if it's turned like this in the bag. But you can still have them hold stuff in the hook, so that's cool. Okay, here's a close-up of Hook. Um, again, he's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to tell him, um, mainly because of that hat. Again, there's also his sword. He's the only one, I think, that has a, any, a sword at all like that. But again, the biggest clue, the biggest thing to tell you that it's him is that hat. And again, the hair is attached to the hat. So you feel a big curve uh, of the hat. Um, Peter Pan and, has a dagger, but I think you can tell the two apart. Yeah, and um, and yeah, with Hook's hair being a part of that, you can definitely tell that. And like Amy said, you might feel the the actual hook on that arm. Okay, this pack contains Peter Pan. Um, now, as Amy said, Peter Pan has a dagger, but the thing about uh, Peter Pan's dagger is they actually give you two, um, and they're attached. They're, they're attached at the bottom, and there's a bar uh, that, that goes in between, and it's all, you know, kind of 
one little piece of you can feel it feels like one little piece of plastic it's like like a u because there's the two daggers with a little piece on the bottom that attaches them um, and then the other way is um, his hat and his hat um, the hair is attached to the hat as well as the pointy ears which you, once you once you feel the hat um, you, you can kind of tell the pointy ears um, but the biggest way for me, I think, is, is again, the daggers. Again, I can feel them right here. I can feel one here and here, and then the little piece in between that's attaching them. And if this doesn't make sense, it will in a second. All right, so there's the daggers. Okay, see, it's one, two daggers, but attached to a little piece down here that you throw away. Okay, and there's, you can see his hat, we'll go close up in just a second. Okay, I want to give you one more shot of the daggers, again, kind of feels like a U because you got that piece that's attaching them both. So just remember, um, you know, to feel for that. Okay. So again, here's the close-up of Peter Pan. Now I've separated the daggers and put one in each hand. Again, they're small, but in the bag, they're one, it's one piece because they're attached. And again, there you can see um, his hat with his hair. And again, the pointed ears, they're real small, so it's kind of hard to make out. The biggest thing is um, feel the conical shape of his hat and find the daggers. And you may also feel that little feather there that's in his hat. That's one that's attached to the hat. The biggest thing, again, for me is finding that the daggers in one piece. There he is.